Yeah, um, hi, my name is Prince Jackson, and I'm doing this uh, video to help make a movie with my grandma to uh, show people the life about my father. So growing up at Neverland, what was that like? Well, it was kind of like my own little world. Like, I thought that was the whole world right there. That was like everything I knew. Um, my dad's music to me is, and you know, like everybody has their own opinion, but to me, nobody has beaten his music, and I don't think anybody ever will, because that's like immoral music right there. So when you've seen your dad perform on videos and things like that, what runs through your mind? Well, like when I was little, um, when I used to see my dad perform, I just thought, I was wondering why everybody like looked up to him and kept yelling for him and everything and he was singing I thought it was just something that everybody did because you know people sing in the shower all the time and I just thought you know it's something that he did that I don't know why people are screaming about him and when I get older I'm still thinking about like what made him the most recognizable out of everybody that does sing and I th me I believe that it was the way he wrote his songs and his lyrics about things that people could actually relate to and the way he just danced was something that nobody has ever seen before so now I understand why they looked up to him. Are you, are you as amazed by his talent as the rest of the world? I believe even more because I never thought that like, because everybody I guess knew who he was before I did. And when I found out, I guess I was more amazed and more shocked than anybody else. <clears throat> so let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the first time you discovered that your, your father was famous. I don't really know because like, I always thought people were just crazy because every time we would go around, like people would just try and like, I'd get squished by a mob of people. And like a lot of the security guards and police couldn't hold them back. So I didn't know what was going on. But um, it's like, I kind of figured out he was famous when I started using the computer because like he, cause I had to do his emails and everything. And when I got more associated with helping him with his business side, like, I just started realizing that, like, you could see him on TV a lot. They'd be talking about him on the news. YouTube, he'd be, like, one of the most trending top Like, you'd see one of his videos related or his music is used everywhere. And he never really wanted to tell us, like, who he is, like, as a person. Like, all it took me, like, till I was, like, six years old to learn that his name was Michael Jackson. I always, his, he was always daddy to me, and that was it. But then I later found out that he was famous just by, you know, seeing people crowd around him. Do you remember having a conversation with him about it when you discovered him? Um, no, we never really like talked about it. I mean, cause I guess like I, I kind of like put two and two together. It's not like that. I found out that he was famous. It's like I got smarter about it. Cause I just guess I just put two and two together. You watch enough movies and you watch enough TV, and you you eventually end up seeing that he's like famous and everybody like worships him. So we never really talked about it. But I asked him one time, "How come you never told us who you like that you were like this?" He says because I'm just a normal person. I just want you guys to look at me as like daddy and that was it. And he says, and also on top of it, I didn't want it to change your person. He said, you should always be humble and stuff. And that's the way he was and that's the way I try to be because of him. But did you look at him differently though? No, he was still daddy to me. I mean, I never saw him perform or anything. I don't think if I did, it would have changed anything. I went to like as much thing as, as I could go with him. Um, I saw him perform when I'm, I still looked at him the same way. Nothing ever really changed. So when you guys went out together, um, I mean, okay, when he, when he gave you guys masks to wear, obviously, what, uh, what was it that he explained to you about that? Well, I used to think that the masks were overdoing it, but then we moved to Vegas, and we were staying in Vegas for a while, and um, he used to tell us the masks are for our protection. I just didn't know what he was talking about. But, he, but I later found out that when we use the masks, because when we're around him, people know who he is, but they didn't really see who we were. So we could go to Circus Circus. We used to go with like our two security guards, go to Circus Circus, and nobody would recognize us because we had masks on. And that's what I understood like when he said it's for, to protect you guys. Because when we're with him, people will recognize him, but they can't see us. But when we went to Circus Circus, nobody ever really recognized us because we didn't have any masks on. Nobody knew what we looked like. So when you were with your dad and people were just in hysterics over him, what were you thinking? When I was little, I used to think they were crazy. Because we used to go out to the UK a lot.
and there, he has a big fan base out there, and I'm like, that's the most hectic place I've ever seen. They like used to squish him, and I'd be getting like stepped on because nobody I guess saw me, and like that was pretty interesting because I never thought like people would like come up to the car like they were stopping traffic to get to the limo. And he never explained to you what what that was about. Well, I mean, I kind of knew because I mean I listened to his music a lot when I was little. Um, I, used to, he, I used to see him dancing to it. I used to see him like writing the music. I remember when I was really little, I used to be in the studio. And I, th I don't. I think it was the Invincible album that he was making, because I remember falling asleep and keep waking up to a song that he was playing over and over. I just can't really remember the name of the song, but um, I used to fall asleep on the leather couches, and actually, leather couches are really comfortable to me now because of that. But I just remember like being in a studio with loud sound is like comfortable for me now. What was um, what was he like working with? Long hours, all hours, any hour. Um, well, because when we were born, I guess he kind of stopped working a bit, but he never really stopped working. He always said you never stop learning and you, you always keep doing. He was always reading, always like on the phones, talking about doing things. He had a lot of big things he wanted planned. He was trying to get us started and stuff. And um, he was working on music a lot of the time. That's why I was helping him with that. He worked on that Sobe uh, Life Water commercial, I think with a Thriller Lizards. And um, he had more plans for that. He had a lot of things that were going on. Some things got like postponed because of the O2. And um, he wasn't, he didn't really work all the time. And when he did, like before it became official, I would help him with it. So like I spent most of my time with him because he would wake me up and tell me that we have to film us, like we have to record a song or something. And he loved photography. He would always take pictures of us with like certain lighting. If he loved the way lighting was, like when we were out in public, he would recreate it at the house just to like retake it. Um, he wasn't teaching me music. He told me to follow what I wanted to do. And I, I want to do, um, like, movies and, like, he's still in entertainment, just not, mu like, the music area. Like, I can't do that. Um, I've tried. It's, it's kind of bad. I actually don't know how I sing. I've never tried it. But, like, I just don't feel like that's be something I do because um, I just want to, like, you know, leave my dad's legacy alone because that's something that he took care of. But I taught, like, he taught me how to use, he told me, like, that he needs help with the music, and I love to help him with anything I could. So I helped him with the mixing and stuff, and um, I used to fool around with different, like, beats and stuff, and a sound. Like, I used to play with uh, synth basses, and he used to say, I love that sound, let's make a beat out of it. And so he did it. He would always take pictures of us with like certain lighting. If he loved the way lighting was, like, when we were out in public, he would recreate it at the house just to, like, retake it. Um, he wasn't teaching me music. He told me to follow what I wanted to do. And I, I want to do, um, like, movies and, like, he's still in entertainment, just not, mu like, the music area. Like, I can't do that. Um, I've tried. It's, it's kind of bad. I actually don't know how I sing. I've never tried it. But, like, I just don't feel like that's be something I do because um, I just want to, like, you know, leave my dad's legacy alone because that's something that he took care of. But I taught, like, he taught me how to use, he told me, like, that he needs help with the music, and I love to help him with anything I could. So I helped him with the mixing and stuff, and um, I used to fool around with different, like, beats and stuff, and a sound. Like, I used to play with uh, synth basses, and he used to say, I love that sound, let's make a beat out of it. And so he did it. Is this the lowest I can go, Jimmy? Do we have to pick that up, you think, or...? Uh, it would be a good idea. You're gonna need this for blanket. He's really? not gonna talk loud at all. You're gonna need like three mics. Really? This thing. You might just want to get that thing over there too. For who? The way we're yeah. all we're hooked up. He, we're a little... Yeah. No, he's gonna be really low. Is he quiet? Like, yeah, shy. Yeah. Has he always been that shy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, don't know. Just. Very not shy. No, I have a more outgoing nature. He's just like he's shy because I don't know why. Just you know, people are who they are. But he's like, he's real soft-spoken, mm -hmm. like when it comes around new people. But once he knows you, like, he's really loud. 